All right, so here's the bike I'll be converting to electric. It's a 1989 Suzuki GS500E. Uh, there isn't much room in here uh, to fit the batteries, which I'm gonna put in this area right here, and then the electric motor uh, will go right in this area. Overall, the bike is in really good shape for being 31 years old. Uh, the suspension looks pretty good. Brakes are okay. Rear brakes are okay. Um, there's a lot I'm going to delete on this bike. I'm going to take the whole back end off and put a cafe racer style seat. And um, a lot more I'm going to be cutting away too. I'll probably have to modify this frame in order to fit the batteries in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with um, a lithium polymer or a lith lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, I'm still shopping around for those batteries. So the first thing I want to focus on is getting the motor out. Should be pretty simple. A few bolts, uh, a couple of electrical connections, um, and it should fall right out. So that's what I'm going to do next. Well, the engine's out. It's a bit of a struggle. I had to take half of the frame out, gas tank out, undo all the wiring, undo the chain. Um, and there's actually quite a bit of bolts holding that motor in. It's pretty surprising. Um, but it's out, I would say that weighs maybe 130 pounds. So I should weigh that to see um, you know how much that weighs versus the batteries and the motor, the electric motor. So now that she's out, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna put the frame back together and see how much room I have for the batteries. Okay. Oh, it turned off. Try again. Oh, 135. <laughs> 135 pounds. That was a bitch getting out. All right, so I have the uh, motor all drawn up in Fusion 360 for the e-bike. This is the ME 1507. Um, so I went ahead and made a plate that fits on the front of that so I can size it on the bike. And I'm gonna cut it on my homemade plasma machine. So that's all ready to go. I got some steel, eighth inch steel, just for a uh, test run. All set up in the machine and ready to cut. So I'm gonna go in and get this cut. Here we go. Okay, there's the holes. And now we are gonna cut the outline. So here we go for that. There you have it. There's the motor bracket. So, I'm going to take my Xbox remote and move this bad boy out of the way. And there it is. Let me pull it out. One motor bracket. 
All right, so the motor bracket is all cooled down. It only took a couple seconds. Let's just compare it to the drawing. Looks pretty damn good. Okay, so I'm gonna go show you where it goes on the bike. Um, yesterday, I kind of mocked up the battery. So this is gonna be awesome. It's actually gonna be Tesla Model 3 21700 cells. Um, and it's about 500 of them. So that's what this little box represents out of cardboard. I'm just doing that for mock-up. And then the motor is gonna fit in here. Originally I did it out of cardboard, um, but that can come out now. And this can go in here. That kind of gives me an idea of how things are gonna fit. So I need to wrestle around with this a little bit to get it to fit in there. Um, might need to move that battery out a little bit, but the motor will sit in this area. It's gonna mount up with these a uh, couple mounts here, and maybe I'll bring it down to here as well. So this might actually be thick enough to mount the motor. I'll have to put some angle iron on here, you know, kind of give it rigidity in two directions. Um, but that kind of gives me a good idea of how big the motor is gonna be. And hopefully I can reuse this whole um, th this old chain uh, for now until I get uh, a new chain, a better chain. Okay, so I did get that motor mount fit in there. It was a little hard with, with one hand and holding the camera, uh, but I realized that it's, it, you know, it's narrower in this direction than that direction. So it fits in there nicely to the batteries. Uh, it's pretty snug. Um, but I think that's where I'm gonna leave this video. Uh, next week I should have some more parts coming in. Uh, I have the motor coming in, which you know, I haven't really talked about too much. I said it's an ME1507, which equates to about 50 horsepower. And I think like 200 foot pounds of torque, depending on how I gear it. Um, the way I am gonna gear it, I should get about 120 miles per hour uh, at the top end of that motor, 6,000 RPM. So it's gonna be pretty spicy. Um, some of the other specs, the batteries, it's uh, 26 in series, 26 lithium ion cells in series. So that gets me to 106 volts uh, when they're fully charged. So pretty good there. And um, I think all together, I'm looking at nine kilowatt hours of battery. So that's a lot of battery. I'm excited about it. I'm really excited I found some Tesla Model 3 cells. Uh, so it's just gonna be a great build. Uh, I'll update more as I go. I'll have a video of uh, me building the battery pack, um, all the wiring for the electronics. Um, and I'll go into more detail with all the electronics I'm gonna use for the controller and so on, and I'll also be publishing a spreadsheet uh, with all the parts that I use for this build. Um, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll update soon.